Welcome again to Journey of a Basketball Player. This is Volume 8. Um, right now, we are in a small, small town in San Luis Potosi, I believe. Um, we are getting ready to do a kids clinic and uh, the camera people around us are setting up for our big entrance. Um, what, ha what happened right here is only me and Khalil, the two of us and the camera crew, um, we won the tournament the day prior. So guys were kind of tired and uh, they had this set up to, to coach the kids. Uh, for the town, I guess there were a couple towns over and a remote place. Like it took us a while to get up here to the to the spot that we needed to be at. Um, we had to go like up hills, narrow, you know, up the mountain, narrow paths, and everything like that. So, you know, we did a lot of ooh and ah, <laughs> trying to make sure we didn't fall off the cliff, getting. Uh, all the way up to uh, where we need to reach our destination. And, um, you know, me and Khalil kind of volunteer because uh, Khalil, he trains kids. You know, I train kids as well. You know, he like he loves the kids. And, you know, I don't, I don't mind the kids as well. So me and him, we decided to, to pretty much volunteer to be the ambassadors, the basketball ambassadors to do the, the kids camp while the other guys, uh, they drove back to the main hotel in the, in the, in the main city. So um, right now, as you see everybody in the background, you see the camera guys, they're kind of trying to get everything set up perfectly for the entrance, which is kind of crazy because we, end, we ended up not even using it for um, the last shot, so. We did all this filming and recording and everything else like that, uh, not to use, you know, the the bulk of it. I think they end up using part of it, like Khalil's interview part. Um, I didn't get no air time on this one either, so you know, it kind of worked out to his favor. Um, for the most part, I think, uh, you know. Like I said, um, some of the guys, well, not some, my boy Tim, he kind of had like a, a pre-planned, um, uh, what do I want to say? A pre-planned, I guess, decision or um, his thought process was, you know, he, he dealt with the guy in the past that set up the whole event and he felt like maybe, you know, uh, for whatever reason that, you know, guys wasn't being truthfully honest on what the whole ordeal was. So that's why um, the other guys didn't come and participate, you know? And on top of that, we had to, once we got I think pretty much done with this taping. We had to drive back and the drive was uh, amazing <laughs> for the for the most part. Um, pretty much it wasn't on no, no, no navigation system. So we was pretty much driving dark the whole time going back to uh, to where we needed to be to meet up with the guys at the hotel. Um, that's one of the guys right here. He's actually the guy with the glasses. He's a he's a police officer, and that's I think I believe JT. Uh, he's he's like a interpreter, and he helps hire the guys, kind of like the liaison for the Mexicans and uh, and the camera crew. So pretty much. Uh, 
they were the main guys helping. They were all cool. Like I said, they're all cool. Uh, he ran pretty much our security, JT. This is uh, one of the guys right here. This is a guy in the glasses, the one that set it up. So uh, these kids actually, you know, I, I kind of felt bad because they were waiting to see all of us and they only got to see me and Khalil. And they waited pretty much the whole, whole day, which, you know, as a basketball player, you want to see, you know, the kids have fun and, and be happy because, you know, basketball, you know, takes you, if you use it right, can take you all around the world. And to do certain stuff like this, man, where they love basketball, I mean, it's, it's a blessing and it's kind of like humble beginnings because you know, these kids, they, they look up to you. It's not every day they get to see American basketball players come to their small village and do a basketball clinic, you know. And I just think that these guys are really, really tough, man. You know, the kids are tough. You know, they got to be thick skinned to come out, you know, and play in a, in a, in a place like this. You see, it's, it's tough, like the floor look at the floor just period <laughs> it's concrete you know inside and the rims aren't the best or anything like that and the floor is slippery and the kids are lined up just to see us you know people are lined up to take pictures the kids are lined up you know to, to, to take autographs and stuff like that so right now he wanted us to actually do the entrance um, for the whole ordeal, and the kids actually had a great time. Um, we made it back. As you can see, as this transitioned on, we made it back to our hotel. The guys are already inside, me and Khalil, I guess. We, we went to walk around. around. Um, you couldn't see it, that was the highway as I showed it, but there's a little pathway that they have, like tacos, and I was eating tacos there. And they were good, but at the same time, man, they had you run to the toilet. <laughs> so this is the uh, hotel digs that we stayed at. Um, I think the only person that didn't stay here was Ron, because Ron lived in the city. So RJ stayed in the city, but he ended up meeting us uh, afterwards up here, because from here, we went to Mexico City to do um, some more shooting. And then we, we had to go to another tournament right after. I forget which one. I think that was, we went from there to San Bartolo, if I believe. So we did some traveling. And then, oh. Uh, Right now, I guess we're going through the motions of the lobby and it was pretty cool. You know, it has some pretty cool statues. Um, there goes one security guys right there. I think his name was Pancho or something like that. I forget his name, Pancho or Nacho. One of the dudes, man. But this guy, like I tell you, speedy driver. My man was a speedy driver, you know. Let me see you dap them up real quick. Oh, they gave him the heads up. What's up? You had a swimming pool, you know, looking from the outside, looking in, you know, the outside didn't look too fancy, but when you get it inside, it, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. You know, it was, it's a pretty decent hotel. Like I said, he had a swimming pool at the statues. The lobby's kind of nice. Um, inside had the restaurant. Um, it wasn't too busy. And I think Khalil right now, you know, I'm, I'm looking at all the statues, but I think Khalil, uh, I wanted to get something from the restaurant or eat or, you know, warm something up. So that's why he's on the other side. And I think I'm heading toward my room and showing, you know, what my room look like. He's really trying to find out, uh, there was, a, there was a chick in there that he was really trying to get at. And no, he did. He got her number. And, uh, you know, my man Khalil's a ladies, a ladies man. They had a 
playground for the kids. It's a pretty cool hotel. And that wraps up this journey right now. Thanks for watching and enjoy. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube page, subscribe now at Jay Kyler. All right, the digs at the pool, somebody's in the pool. So subscribe now. <laughs>